Well, what did we get here today? Well, we got ourselves a tarp, we got wood, we got things to cover the windows, which uh, let me show you what it looks like right here. It's going to look like that. We also got uh, some more metal, which is going to cover over this thing, so that just leaves this open. Do you want to say what that is going to be? No. All right. No. But I will say that anyone who's interested, uh, we got these sheet metal cut to the size of the windows, which is why we're blocking these things up. Some people always ask me, how do we actually end up doing this? Uh, we actually just had these cut. So they're already the window size, and we just literally insert them in. Yeah. So uh, just so you know, when you have them cut, uh, they will charge you uh, labor for that. However, I personally thought we could, you know, we could have cut these things ourselves. But um, just to make a perfect cut, it was worth the, I think it came out to being like $10 a sheet uh, labor fee. See, look at how nice that is. It's nice and perfect. Done. Done. Anyways, welcome back to the build. We still haven't uploaded yet, but I will soon. And then it'll give me a nice buffer of like either 10 days, no, 20 days or something like that, or two weeks. So there should be no more hiccups after the upload. some exciting news okay um, I know if there are people who are currently doing their buses or have done their buses or like to do their buses insulation is something that is very important my last bus I didn't insulate the ceiling and I had problems with the heat uh, in warm weather mostly when the Sun was shining um, so we got some stuff 25% off spray foam insulation um, in a nutshell, it's not the highest insulation, but it, it's, it's very good, right? So our good buddy, Brad camp, we'll just call him campground host, Brad, um, had a, had a guy in town. And so when you're at a, a higher latitude, a colder climate, they have better, um, insulation. Uh, it's thicker. Well, I should say it's denser with the same thickness. So I just got a quote, and it was actually a little bit more than um, the spray foam insulation I got, which was all, which was marked down 25% off at the hardware store. So that, so we're gonna go with that. Um, this is some other interesting, fun. Yeah, how does that look? Wow, it looks perfect. Does it look perfect? Yeah. Did I did I did I get the right? Cuts? You did. You did good. All right. You done did well. Do you know what it is yet? Yeah. Do you guys want to guess? Ooh, heavy. I'm <laughs> uh, clearly, this will be some kind of uh, window of sorts. That's the only hint, if you didn't guess in the last video. But yeah, that's going to cover it up completely. Anyways, we got to get to get to work. We got to start uh, stop yapping, and we got to start working on this thing before it starts uh, raining again. All right, this is what uh, the back of the bus is going to look like uh, right now. We have these uh, in place just temporarily. Got to install that, but. Uh, yeah, just blocking a couple off. That is where the toilet is gonna go and some closet stuff and all that fun stuff. Ooh, spooky. Uh, the rain is coming, so we decided to uh, put a gigantic 20 foot by 30 foot tarp over everything. We were uh, able to borrow a uh, table saw, so we have this. Uh, window cutouts are there. We need to cut out wood, same size as the, uh, the metal. That's gonna go behind it and uh, keep it tight, keep it pressed to it because we're gonna screw through. You'll see all that fun stuff. But uh, to get a couple fun little metal screws, self tapping. And if it does rain, we can still weld. We'll just pull this out like a little tarp and uh, actually, maybe even leave the welder inside and uh, do all the work out here. But that is gonna close off this area. And we're just kinda getting all the metal out of the potential rain zone, and by we, I mean Michael. <laughs> now, because we had a long day in town, and it's gonna be raining uh, rather shortly, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, cut this here piece of plywood into three, three pieces. Uh, one, two, three, we're gonna need a fourth one, and then we'll save the rest of the wood for something else.
just like magic, we are done. We have all four of the cuts that we need completed. That's uh, what it's gonna kinda look like for now. We still need to screw them in. Uh, and we have those cut. Now, we were talking about something that Michael did on his bus for an aesthetic. So I'd like all of your opinions, because I know... Oh, trust me, I know you all have them. I read the comments. Do I leave these black bump things, or do I p remove them and make it flat, and then have a nice piece of wood on the top part, just like Navigation Nowhere? Uh, please let me know your comments below. Hello from the land of maple syrup and slow rural internet. We're driving today 80 to 100 miles to the Apple Store in Edmonton just to upload. I was able to get up a video yesterday, in real time yesterday. Um, uh, little difficulties uploading. Um, so yeah, it's been uh, challenging. It's been fun up here. We like building and we like the area, but uh, when you work online, and you don't have internet, creates a problem. All right, it is now 6.40 p.m. The entire day we spent driving 90 miles into Edmonton, well, to the Apple Store, uploaded 12 videos, scheduled them until the 22nd of June, so that's almost the entire month of June, and um, so yeah, we're, we're getting to work though. Uh, Michael fired up a welder, I need to go get my uh, work suit on, and then I'll be uh, joining him on the inside to do some uh, tack welding. Michael has something interesting to share with the class. What do you got? Gas welding! Let's see it. Oh, I mean it's just testing, it doesn't, it's not actually Alright, so that's gas, flip it over, let's see the other side. Oh yeah, that, the, the, that's not, like, not gas, it's all like yeah. splattery and sparky. You, I mean, you can't really see it over there. They put it down here where the light is. Oh yeah. So it's not a bad weld. Well, it's a, it's a. We're testing. I'm testing the because uh, I don't have a regulator that uh, does flow. The regulator is just giving me pressure, so I just gotta you know look at it a little bit longer. But yeah, then you got this side, which is all well now it's rusted because it was in the water. Right. But, uh, From the other day. Like, yeah, it's all sparky and stuff. Yeah, that's a clean weld. Yeah. Well, it's better. I'm not. I'm not a master welder. I'm a bus welder, you know? Yeah. <laughs> as long as it doesn't fall apart. It won't fall apart. Give me a little tutorial. We got this uh, nice welder. I'm gonna make some uh, practice welds. to reveal the secret? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. All right, here guys is what we did to the emergency door. It is no longer an emergency door. <laughs> it's, now, it's now a window. I know, I know, this is groundbreaking stuff. Stop the press. We put back two windows where there used to be emergency door because why? Natural light, man. We that, want as much natural light as possible. That's absolutely correct. We just like, we just like our windows. And we, we're not a big fan of RV windows. No offense to the RVers, but when everything else is like a straight line, we didn't want to do like a curve. Because the only thing that was a curve are the tires and uh, the 
Oh, wait, we took those out too. Yeah, there's nothing on a curve here, <laughs> except the steering wheel. Yeah, literally. So I did a little bit of the welding, but I had to pass it back to the pro, because uh, if there's any welders who watch me, I made a hole in, uh, in the metal there because I guess it was like too hot or something. 